Welcome back to the laser graved earring tutorial series and in this one, this is tutorial number four, we are going to look at how we would put images on our earring versus just using the tools like we in, that are in Inkscape for drawing uh, like we did in the last video. So let's talk images. So first of all, where do you get an image? Well, you can head over to Google uh, and you can Google images and in Google images you can, oh, let me just pull that up for a second so on my other screen and here it comes you can head into clip art you know the tools here pick tools oh sorry images there we go and now pick tools and under tools the type clip art or line drawing any way to simplify things so you could try line drawing too and in this case i was doing dolphins right so we can find a dolphin. Now these are pictures, they're no good. I obviously don't have this set right. Type clip art, there we go. And you'll get simplified things. Um, and you can decide, you have to start thinking about how this might look on your earring, right? We, we're not gonna be able to do this kind of detail. Uh, this might be nice or so on. And then don't forget, I said you can change it to line drawings and maybe this will help. So. Once you find something you like, so maybe it's, I mean, I already have something, but uh, maybe it's this one right there. You can right click on it. You can try to copy the image or you can save the image to your computer, save image to your computer. And then when you save it, you'll be able to import it. If you copy it, you're going to have to pay. So let's just try copying first because I'm lazy. So I'm going to copy the image to my clipboard. And then I'm going to head back to my Inkscape file. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste it and see how it does. Look at that. Came in no problem. So that's all we'd have to do for that. If you'd saved it to your computer because you wanted to keep the image, and sometimes that's useful, uh, you can go to File and you can import the image. And it will come in just like this. So there's my image. Now you can see the one I was working on for my sample earring is right here. This is the one I went and found for my sample earring. And you're like, wait a minute, it's got all this weird stuff on it that I don't want. True. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. All right. Now, uh, next step. Got my image into Inkscape. It's the wrong size. It's also got this, which is a fuzzy edge. And we don't want that. That's pixelation. And that's because of the image type it is. So what we're going to do in Inkscape and by the way, I keep zooming in and out, and hopefully you know how to do that by now. You hold control while you're running your scroll wheel, and it zooms in and out. So this is too big also. It's very big. So we're going to just start by cleaning it up. So what you do is you use your pick tool, and you pick it, and then you go up here to path, and you go trace bitmap. And when you pick trace bitmap, you'll get this little pop-up show up. And these are all different ways to trace. This one that we're going to be using is the default brightness cutoff. And this is the threshold or how much information it will include in the trace. So if you hit live preview, you can kind of see what it's going to do. Now it's a low resolution preview, but we'll just say OK to this. And it looks like nothing happened, but something happened because if I click and hold on here and I drag, I now have two of them. And one of them is all fuzzy and one of them is nice and crisp and clean. So that's how you trace things. And the other thing you'll notice is because of the threshold, it excluded all of the light gray color and only took the darker colors. If I had raised the threshold, if I go like this and keep raising the threshold, uh, let's go way up to like 0.9, and then I trace it, you'll see it's going to include some of the squares. And I'll push OK so you can see the difference. So though, there you go. I didn't want that. So I used my threshold cutoff to exclude some of the information here. And that's what I needed. So there's my first one. Here's my other one that I'd like to trace. This one. I'm going to take it back down to the whatever it was, 0.45 or something like that. Uh, and you can see what's going to happen over here when I trace this, maybe 0.48, something. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to trace this one and push OK. And when I pull this off, again, I'm, all of this lettering is gone, and I have just what I want. So these are the two that I'm going to work with to make my earring, even though they're way too big. All right, so we're going to close this. That's how you trace it and get it cleaned up and ready to work with. So the next step is, if you notice, my earring has just some of these waves. And there's, I have 
two sets of waves here. Well, as soon as you trace it into a bitmap, or trace, sorry, trace bitmap, you change this to a vector. So you can use these editing tools like we saw in the previous video and click on it, and you'll see this is made up of a bunch of nodes, connected dots with nodes. These are nodes, and we connect the lines. What I can now do is I can select these nodes by using a window, so I'm holding my mouse and dragging, and then I hit delete on my keyboard, and voila, I've gotten rid of much of it. And so this one I don't need to, like that's also nodes, but I don't need to edit it right now. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring those two together. So I'm going to bring them together like this. And that's how I think I saw it before. I think I also edited out some of the waves. I don't have as many waves, but that's good enough for now. Okay, obviously still way too big for my uh, earring. So what I have to do is make this smaller. So I can lock the height to width, make sure you lock it, and then I can start dragging this in like this. And I'll get it closer to my earring now. And I'll drag this in like, uh, yeah, it's still locked. Bring it in. And I'll start zooming in on my work. And like this. Now, notice I worked with the shape of my earring, and I noticed that this direction for my dolphin uh, it wasn't going to fit on very well. Even if I made it smaller, it still had a problem. So then I clicked again, like one click gets you to select, and you can stretch, or two clicks allows these little handles to come up. And then I tilted them, and that was good. And then I clicked again, I brought it a little smaller, and I got it just the way I wanted. Okay, and then I can go and get my waves now and bring those in. I have to stretch those a little smaller and zoom in and stretch those a little smaller. So there's manipulating and it's sizing. Um, yeah, I think what I did was I node edited this and I took out all the bottom stuff, like down here. Delete, and now this one I didn't get at all, so it's gonna make a bit of a mess. So I gotta go back and do some, there we go. And something like this. I can even do more, but that's not too bad. So you get the idea of how I was able to bring in an image and then I was able to convert it so that it was made up of vectors and I was able to edit it uh, to make the image just what I wanted and I was able to resize it so it fit on my earring within my design constraints. So the next one is, uh, the next video that is, the next tutorial, is the final preparations for engraving the things we have to do to get it ready to uh, be engraved and then it's time to head to the laser software. All right, we'll see you then.